Are you good in bed? What's like your signature move? Do you have one? What gets you going? Is it the boobs? I mean, could that be? They put a bunch of MILFs in a house, then they put those MILFs kids in the house, and now they're all banging each other. It's the best show in the world. That was way too early. Episode four of MILF Manor came out, and it's looking like a doozy. And you know it's heating up, because next week is the finale. Aww. But I've got my flirty little cocktail, and I'm ready to go. You went on a date with Harrison. He's a smooth guy, huh? Gabriel's just doing a little too much for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Last episode, we were talking about Gabriel and how he's just like a cringe, sucky head. Daddy? That's what you get for asking my mom on a date! He's so corny, he's so needy, and he's going after a 40-year-old woman, which I feel like you need some maturity for that. Some maturity that Ryan here was able to give her last episode. I try to be. Cheers. So hand on my heart, praying to God that Stephanie picks Ryan over Gabriel. In the name of Jesus! Oh. I'm always feeling great. She always feel how you look. See, that is like adult game. That is mature game. She's 40, he's 30, so it's the most age-appropriate relationship, which shockingly is the only one that seems to be going anywhere. This isn't my first rodeo. I think that we developed a very strong connection. It's not a forced chemistry. I think it's been pretty genuine. Yup, and it's also a nice bonus that it's making my least favorite guy very sad. Ryan keeps trying to- What the hell is this? And he's dressed like- There's a Freddy Krueger joke that I'm too dumb to make, but there's a joke here. Freddy loser, Freddy loser, Freddy loser. Meanwhile, he's dressed here like Freddy loser. Got him. It was a Freddy loser joke. He fucking my wife's mouth. Stephanie's just, she likes to play nice, you know, sometimes. So I feel like that could definitely be read as like, oh, she might like you, you know? Ha ha, loser. Cause last week she was on a date with Ryan and she said that she just views you as a friend. But it's just been fun, like more friends. So you're right that people interpret her niceness as flirtation, but the people that you're talking about are you. <laughs> I think I'm getting a little bit too into the show and having personal frustrations with these people. I'm like losing the entertainment and just like genuinely being mean to- th I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Gabriel, I'm sure you're a cool guy. I just want you to lose. He tries so hard to like try and make his moves and stuff, you know? So then I pull up, I'm like, Stephanie, come on. That's so true. Like when Dance. You he tries so hard with his moves. I don't try hard at all. Come on, Stephanie. Look at me. Look at me, Stephanie. Come on, come on. Okay. Dude, dude, that is pathetic. And what is this dancing? He, he, he's throwing out these, he's throwing out these. Oh my God, this is so hard to watch. Guys, we, we gotta get through this. This is killing me. This guy's just a friend. That's you what know, she said last never week. never consider really dating him. Like, I'm confused at this point. Right. How am I your favorite? And how are you acting like that? Exactly, because we ended last week's episode and I was feeling so good. Like we were gonna see Stephanie just destroy Gabriel, but now she's here dancing with him and it seems just as flirtatious as she is with Ryan. But she was saying to Ryan that she doesn't have those feelings for Gabriel. And in no way should she ever have feelings for Gabriel based on who he is as a person and how he acts. Gabriel, I'm sure you're a cool guy. If this episode progresses and she doesn't reject Gabriel outright, I'm almost gonna feel like she's just as immature as Gabriel and Ryan is more mature than her. Which is crazy because she's supposed to be the experienced MILF and he's supposed to be the, the, the young boy. This is a weird show. I needed the milk, mom. Your mom is one of the ladies that I think that she is the most interesting and yes. elegant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just me and the boys hanging out. So which one of these ladies are you most interested in? Oh, for me, I, I definitely gotta say your mom. I want to fuck your mom. Jose is nothing if not honest. That was amazing. <laughs> Look at Ryan's face when he reacts to that. I think Jose has a relevant shot with my mom. Seems very genuine and endearing, so that's definitely my mom's style. Other than that, I'm not gonna lie, Jose has a great accent. <laughs> Huh? That was your face, and, but then you said, huh? That is so weird to like give approval for your mom in this situation to have sex with one of your friends. But I mean, he's coming to it from like a okay perspective. Like his interest seems genuine, he's a really nice guy, but also he is telling you right now that he wants to sleep with your mom. Huh? That is what he's saying. So for you to not go, huh? That's a weird. I'm not gonna lie, Jose has a great accent. <laughs> I think Ryan has a crush on Jose. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he said he wanted to bang my mom, and like, I guess that's her style, but really, I was just focused on his voice. So essentially, I was thinking that your mother has incredible breasts, and I would like to bury my face in her bosom. <laughs> you are gay. You will interact with someone you haven't before to rate them on chemistry scale. God, what the hell was that face? Who is that? I don't know who the hell that woman is. I've never seen her before. Actually, wait, I think she said something racist in one episode. Paula and Stephanie and Jose speaking Spanish, you know, and their little group is definitely making everybody feel uncomfortable. Okay, Charlene, who the hell are even you? So her character arcs so far has been racist, and then... Oh yeah, 
so much fun. God, anyways, okay, so what they're about to do is go meet with people that they're unsure about and just talk with them for five minutes to see if they have chemistry. Let's see if there's any pairings that interest us. Wait, oh my god, oh my god, there's one right here. Okay, we gotta watch this one. This is racist mom. Sorry, I shouldn't just say racist. She has said a racist thing. <laughs> racist saying mom <laughs> and uh, Gabriel. Please have chemistry, please have chemistry, please have chemistry. Really looking for love or I mean, do you want- Honestly, I'm such a lover. I even put lover boy on my thing. Yeah. <laughs> Sick. What about in the bedroom? Uh... <laughs> Be honest, it's fine. I'm just curious. That is the first time I've related to Gabriel. Maybe the tides are turning. That was a weird, weird, what are you doing? So take these five minutes to talk to somebody that you haven't talked to before and see if you have any chemistry in your conversation. So what do you like to do in the bedroom? How will you f*** me? Uh... But in the same way that I love Kelly for being on the show, I'm glad that this woman just asked that question because it's prime drama. God, just get to it. Are Let's you good in bed? What's like your signature move? Do you have one? What we'll gets you going? Is it the boobs? I mean, could that be? Are you a butt man? Like, what? <laughs> She's rapid firing this shit out like crazy. What do you like sexually? What's your What's your go to move? Are you good in bed? Do you like boobs? Are you a boobs guy? Do you like butt cheeks? I've got butt cheeks. Do you like boobs or butt cheeks? Uh. Someone said she's foaming at the clit. Nobody said that. I just didn't want to take responsibility, but I thought it was funny. Huh? I kind of am the type of person where I just don't jump into something, if right. that makes sense. I view it very, like, spiritual, like, that's my temple, that's someone's temple. <laughs> Me when I'm lying, but I just am terrified of a woman. <laughs> The tides are turning. I kind of like Gabriel now. Fuck! How would you bang me? How would you bang me and just touch me and get me going? Uh, yeah, I kind of like to, to go the, the slow, the spiritual. Body's a t temple, respectful. I don't, I don't want, I don't. She jumped in hard and heavy and he said, uh, no? To the point, she's like, so how do you like it in bed? Like, <laughs> tell me about your, your sex life. Like, it was just so much. All right, that's it. He's at his redemption arc. I love this guy. I don't care if you're corny. I don't care if you're wearing the clothing of Freddy Loser. That was like one of the most relatable things I've seen on this entire show. He literally literally just said in the conventional booth, his reaction was what I just said right there. Am I Gabriel? Is my hatred of him a self-hatred? Do I need to look in the mirror? I know what my needs are and I know they needed to be met like yesterday. <laughs> I've been ready to go out into the deep end. Like, does anybody know how to swim here or what? <laughs> Wait, that was awesome. I came to this show to fuck. Why is nobody fucking me? Fuck my mouth. I'm going to. <laughs> Oh my god, this might be my favorite, like, real reaction for this entire show. There's no, like, performance there. They're both being so real. <gasps> I just want someone to fuck me! Damn, bitch! Why me, though? You have great skin, you have good- This is Jimmy. I love Jimmy so much, because in that first episode, he said some wild stuff about feet, and it was just so off-the-wall batshit. Suck the acrylic off some toes. Shove them in my mouth. Anytime he's on screen, I just know something silly's gonna happen. Taste, I love the anklet. <laughs> yeah. I love toe rings, anklets, feet, oh, sauce. I just said, I literally paused it, said that, unpaused it, and he's talking about her feet. God, I love this show. They give you exactly what you want. I don't know. You think she's my type? Well, she's a cool person, but she's not your type. She yeah. might have a wide, but she don't have out. Yeah, you know I like the out. Like, <laughs> Why do you have an intimate knowledge of how your son likes his ass? Jimmy and Sue Young might be the new Joey and Kelly. It didn't bother you when you were baby sucking on a mirror, so let's- And Sue Young famously f Jimmy best friend. Slept with your best friend. Oh! First thing that like you might be attracted to, like eyes or a smile. Being honest, mm -hmm. your feet. Oh my god, is this MILF manner or toe sucking manner? Is there like a big crossover in the men who like MILFs and the men who like toes? Is the Venn diagram just like a circle? Ladies, I guess if you want your toes sucked, just wait till you're 40 years old and then you can go find a 20 year old. That's icky! God, this show's so icky! Your feet. Right. You, you got a foot fetish? Yeah. Oh, so well. Like, yeah. <laughs> she said, pass. You got a foot fetish? Yeah. Okay. Okay. She's about to run to the ocean, dive in, and swim until she drowns. God, that's dark. She's not about to do that. This tipsy thing makes me just lose a filter and just say wacky, wacky, wacky stuff. I want to smell feet. <laughs> I'ma always keep my feet tight. Um, never mind. Rewind. Ah, rewind time. Fortnite. I guess she wants her toes sucked. I keep my feet tight. What the hell is this show? What the hell am I watching? Why are we watching this together? I love you very much. Please comment below. Tell me how you're feeling about these characters. And like the premise of the show as a whole, it's gone on long enough that this is like, we know what the show is. How do you feel about it actually? Because at the beginning I was like, this show should not exist. And now, 
I really think it shouldn't exist, but I'm grateful that it does. But now, finally, my favorite character is back. We got Joey, who, keep in mind, he's 20 years old. He can't even legally drink in America. I needed the milk, Mom. I needed- Semen is- is another kind of milk. What makes you experienced enough for an older woman? You need to sell me on that. Are, are you talking about sexually yeah. or just everything? <laughs> I've come full circle on Joey. He's the protagonist of this show. I love him. Because now knowing that he's 20 and there's these middle-aged women asking him how he likes to have sex, it's icky and I'm on his side in any situation. He can't do anything wrong when there's 50-year-old women asking him how he fucks. Like, how can you blame him for being awkward? Also, who the hell is this? I've never seen this woman. She's the mom of that last dude, the other guy with the foot fetish, who I also haven't seen. I don't know. Anyways, let's see what this creepy woman's asking our boy. Sexually... Okay, well, I haven't had a, like as much sexual experience as you. <laughs> I love the way he talks. He talks like he's an animated character in a Disney Channel show. As much sexual experience as you. Like that is not based in reality. He is so funny. He kills me. Have you ever been with an older one? I have not been with an older woman sexually. What? What is he doing on MILF Manor? Huh? They got a 20 year old guy on a show about banging MILFs and he's never been with an older woman. But he said sexually he hasn't been. So maybe he's just there to kiss an older woman on the cheek. This is such a weird thing for him to be talking about. Not weird for him to say, but like the fact that he's on MILF Manor and he's never been with a MILF, what are his qualifications? That his mom is a MILF. So this has to be a situation where she applied to be on MILF Manor because obviously she has to be on the show. But then they're like, oh, well, you also need to bring your son. And she's like, well... So she brings her 20-year-old son because they have to get Kelly, even though he has no experience and is kind of like a mama's boy. It's great for the show. It's funny, but also it's a very, very weird thing. Hopefully this woman is like respectful and nice to him. Let's see. Would you ever pull a Jimmy? A Jimmy? <laughs> That's just out of my comfort zone. What is I, up with no one wanting to be a chick? What the hell is a Jimmy? What, what was that reaction? I could see Jimmy being slang for penis, but pulling a pulling a penis? Semen is is another kind of milk, Mom. I needed some energy. You were really thirsty. <sighs> is do you guys know what a Jimmy is? Hi, Google. Me and Anna. It's your boy, Cooper. Can you please tell me what the sex term Jimmy means? Jimmy, the penis. That's what I was saying. What the f is she talking about? Maybe she's gonna clarify. Let's see. I will do most of the things that you want me to do. To ass. Yeah. That's good to know. To what ass, though? To what ass? Let me go read her lips real quick, because I don't think she said eat. To yeah. ass. Yeah. To yeah. Ass. There is a clear F there. To fuck ass? What? Does a Jimmy mean anal? Just say anal, you fucking weirdo. So she asked him if he'd be down to do anal, even though he's never had sex with an older woman. Let me, let me let's get out of this. This is icky. Would I ever do the Jimmy to her? I didn't know she was coming on like that with you. She, she did it to everyone. What? What? For Kelly to have a reaction like that, you know that it's insane. And she was asking everybody that? So she would meet a guy and then go, hey, would you fuck my ass? I think this show shouldn't exist. This is so weird to have like a middle-aged woman going around asking boys in their 20s if they'd fuck her in the ass. Sorry for saying the words, but that's what they're talking about in the show. Uh, yeah. How are you doing? Very good at you. Yes, doing yes, great. yes. My favorite MILF with my favorite baby boy. Oh my God. I'm so excited to see this happening. What are you looking for here? I'm looking for a great person. You want to like older woman? Yeah, I, f I flirt with them. You know, I love dancing with them. This is adorable, but a little bit perverted and demented. The way they're talking to each other is a very like mother and son, like giving each other advice, like chit chatting. This is not flirtatious. However, the flirtatious undercurrent of it being MILF manner in the intention to fuck makes it very perverted and demented. I finished my drink. Let me go get a second. Filming YouTube videos is literally the only time I drink. By the way, I just released a video called Tipsy Tearless where I go and I rank every single Taylor Swift album. It's the last video I just posted. I love it and a lot of people like it and I love you. <laughs> I'm not lying, especially you, Polly. You got that. You got that tight body. You got that slim fit. So, of course, I would like to see that body in the sheets. God, what the fuck are you saying, Joey? Joey, shut the fuck up, Joey. Oh my God, Joey, you had just redeemed yourself. Shut the fuck up. What the fuck was that, Joey? Joey, shut the hell up. I literally just got finished saying that the way they were talking reminded me of a mother and a son. And then he said, "I like 50 to 60 year old women, and I want to see you in my sheets." Dude, dial it back. What I would like to see in an older woman. Uh -huh. is her actually not seeing me as a child okay. and seeing me as an adult. He said, I'm a man, I'm a man. I'm not a 20 year old boy, I'm 20 years old and I'm a big boy. Hi, my name's Joey. You're over twice my age and I want you to see me as an equal so that we can fuck. 
fuck! God, I want you so bad! God! I'm a man. I'm a man. I swear to God, I'm a man. Let me fuck you. Take a step back. When Joey is like actually an adult and he looks back on this, it's gonna be painful. My speed date with Joey, it was a disaster. She came out with like a motherly energy towards Joey and he was like, uh, I'm a man. I'm a man. Let me bang you. Let me bang you. <sighs> but at least Paula didn't like it. Some of these moms are a little bit predatory. She seems like one of the good ones. She seems like the opposite of Joey and Kelly where Jose, her son, was brought because he's like, a, he's like a milf slayer and she's like, uh, Nah. I'm glad that there's a little bit of reason within her. Reason to an extent. She is still on MILF Manor. What's your favorite part of this trip so far? Oh, great. I really don't know how I'm feeling on Gabriel right now. How do you guys feel about Gabriel? Because last episode and early on in this episode, he's like a cringe demon who's trying so hard. But also there's something sweet in him. And when he was reacting to that creepy lady, I felt deeply in my soul that I related to him. And it's like kind of a redemption arc. But is it? What, what, do, you, what do you think about it? I think I'm kind of in a toss up right now. Ryan, what's up? Do you play any like instruments and Play some violin and play some piano by ear. See, Ryan has game. Ryan knows how to deal with a situation like this. He's not going to go in there and get down to Gabriel's level. He's going to be cooler than that. This is why I like Ryan. This is why I don't like Gabriel. You want to sit here too? Stephanie, offer him a spot. I'm out. <laughs> what the hell was that? I thought that she said they were just friends. You know what I said earlier? Stephanie being like as immature as Gabriel, I think that's true. And I think that Ryan is better than her. And I hope that he moves on. And if you're telling somebody that they're strictly clearly just a friend and they know their position then why is he moving the way he's moving exactly 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 i'm tired of this drama i want to see somebody fucking in the name of jesus oh. see that's why i love her she's the anyways god just re relax okay keep whoa it's getting warmer though i have candles all lined up i'm gonna light the candles and then <laughs> why does he talk like that? He has a very odd energy. Look at the way he looks while he talks. It seems like there's nothing going on inside of his brain. And, uh, and everything, but the wind kept blowing around. <laughs> it's like he's mentally not all... I don't know. This is mean. I don't know how to say this. You know that guy from the Goonies? <laughs> I'm really hoping that I get to see if his size of his is real. Oh my God, Kelly, can you just for one second? Oh my God, Kelly, I love you so much. Please stop. It's already hard enough to get through a scene of those two kissing, but for her to say, I can't wait to see how big his cock is. God. Still on. Like that inner, it doesn't seem like he has a brain. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you agree with me or am I being like unnecessarily mean? <laughs> Tonight, we're sleeping in the same bed and she needs to stop fucking him. Oh my God, this show's premise is like, it's coming to fruition with Kelly. So I guess the producers are happy, but the fact that she's talking about I need this boy's mom to stop cock blocking him. I don't think that that should be allowed. It feels like there's something illegal to it. Come here, daddy. Come over here. You should grab it. What? <laughs> should or did I? Okay, so they're sleeping in the same bed, in the same room as the mom, and she's like talking about the son sexually in front of the mom. You want me to grab it? Come here, daddy. That's icky. Calling someone daddy who's half your age, icky. <laughs> Kelly had been drinking, yes. and she started hiccuping. <laughs> she started snoring really so loud. loud. Hey, be nice to her. Shut the hell up. Okay, well, at least they didn't, you know, sleep together, sleep together. That's great. But be nice to her. She's a snoring, beautiful uh, young woman. I was like in my mom's bed, like as a little kid, it like brought back the movies, like hiding from the monster. <laughs> hey, asshole. You were just making out with this woman, and now you're trashing her? I hate you. But there's a bit of a redemption arc for Gabriel, although I'm sure we're going to see that come to full circle at the uh, the finale next week. But yeah, that whole scene with Joey and Paula, that made me feel very uncomfortable and I hope we don't have to see anything like that again. I love you very much. Please subscribe. I'm making some more videos. I'm trying to post at least twice a week. So once on Wednesday and then once on Sunday. I just made that tipsy tier list with uh, Taylor Swift, which I think you would like. A lot of people are saying that they really liked it. Oh, I'm like Donald Trump right now. A lot of people are saying it's their favorite video. A lot of people. Shut the hell up. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep drinking this. And...